Today we're going to talk about sex toys, what they are, why do people use them, when to explain what a sex toy is to your kid, and should you buy your teen a sex toy? I'm Kathleen and I make videos for parents on how to have the modern day sex talks. I've received this question from a few parents. The vast majority of parents who've reached out to me inquiring about sex toys for their teens are parents of children living with disabilities. With each disability and diagnosis, parents want to give their kid access to the information and tools necessary to help their child achieve independence. More and more parents of children living with a disability are acknowledging that sexuality doesn't just go away because a person has a disability, but that they may require more information, education, and tools in order to express and experience their sexuality. Before you start explaining what sex toys are to your kid, whether they have a disability or not, you're going to need to have had a few previous sex talks. Talks about masturbation, what is sex, the different types of sex, what's an orgasm, and that people have sex for pleasure. Now these are like the bare minimum conversations you would have needed to have in order to have this conversation about sex toys. And if you need help with any of those conversations, check out the description. I've got links to videos on those topics. Sex toys are objects that are designed and intended to be used for sexual stimulation, arousal, and pleasure. Sex toys are also referred to as adult toys since most shops and stores are prohibited from selling the items to children, people under the age of 18. Sex toys can be used by adults when self-masturbating or engaging in sexual activity with another adult. There are a variety of sex toys for adults to use if they choose because they are designed to make the penis, vagina, and clitoris feel good when using them. Adults may choose to use a sex toy for any number of reasons, but generally because they want to explore their sexuality and sexual experiences with the assistance of a device. And when it comes to taking care of one's own sexual health, there are some medical conditions that can be treated with the use of sex toys for therapeutic purposes. So when do you explain all that to your kid? As I mentioned earlier, it is helpful to have talked about a few topics beforehand in order to help make this conversation go just a bit smoother. Nowadays, your kid may ask you what's a sex toy or what's in a sex shop at some point during the intermediate or middle school age ranges, ages 7, 8, 9, and 10, 11, 12. And if they haven't asked you by the high school age range, I'd encourage you to bring up the topic and let them know what it is. Most sex stores that sell sex toys prohibit minors, anyone under the age of 18, from entering the store. However, online sex shops generally don't have age requirements to peruse the site or make purchases. Generally speaking, in most countries, it's not illegal to buy sex toys or have sex toys. But as a parent, the conversation about the purchase, the intention of the purchase, and the motivation for the purchase should be well established between you and your child. If your child is living with a disability and you want to introduce the concept of using a sex toy as a part of their therapeutic treatment, I would encourage you to discuss this with them as well as their healthcare providers. This area of assisted masturbation and sexual therapy for minors is not well established and the laws for minors can be unclear. In the meantime, talking with your child living with a disability or not about masturbation, the social norms, the expectation of privacy, hygiene, and your comfort level around masturbation in the home can help to keep the lines of communication open and grounded in what is often considered a taboo topic for many parents. This video is intended to provide general information, but if you want to have a conversation one-on-one, -on -one, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks y'all for being here. I'm Kathleen and I'll be back next week with another video.